Okay, for it. y'all for y'all likes, y'all comments, and y'all subscriptions. I feel like you got some people, you got a lot of people running their mouth about the way you give yourself love. The fuck? Running their mouth about how you've blossomed. How you getting your money. How you staying who you are. Running their mouth about your wisdom. Jealous. Jealous. That's crazy. Because they resisted the calling. They resisted their gifts. All for acceptance. Acceptance of man instead of having acceptance of God and acceptance of their divine ancestors. Instead of purifying the wicked things in their heart and having this new beginning, they choose to sit back and watch you and talk, have the audacity to talk about your growth. Who does that? You know you got to be a bitter bitch. To sit back and talk about somebody's growth. Come on now. Darkness I've seen. The unexpected. But guess why? They, it's more they finna have to talk about. And they trying to say that. You're using. Some form of dark magic. To attract in. The things that you want. To have this knowledge. And abundance. That's what that's what that's what this person is saying. To have this wisdom and oh she's not doing it. She's using some type of deity. You know, child, if you don't get your ass on, you hear me? Because baby, I, I I'm over here doing real, real good. Me and God. You hear me? I don't the only only deity I need is the Holy Spirit, baby, to, to come through this thing. You hear me? And shake up some heads up in here. Because I know who I am, and you know who I am too. That's why you running your mouth. But I guarantee you, the way you ran your mouth on me, you should be experiencing a little toothache this morning. You hear me? You should be experiencing a little toothache, is what I'm hearing. You hear me? <laughs> Because, baby, I, I'm not going to lie. My ancestors don't play around me. Somebody's tooth hurting. How about that? Somebody's tooth is hurting. They are running their mouth about you and your guilt. What kind of shit is that? How you going to be running your mouth about somebody's growth? I tell you, these people that put up a resistance to their own path, you hear me? You hear me? That whole faith in man-made laws and man-made structures and strictures when it comes to religion. Talking about your beauty. You ain't getting no darkness to have this beauty, bitch. This is me. This is the fruition of God. This is the fruition. This is the fruition of what you get when you spend time. With the most high. This is the fruition when you follow his laws. When you follow his ways. When you follow his intu intu intuitive knowing. These three cards is what fell out. Yeah. And sovereignty is on the bottom of the deck. Somebody could be um over the age of 40. Over the age of 40. Self-reflection, protection, action. Yeah, they mad because you went in, you went within and decided to mirror your to mirror yourself. And, and, and when you, what you seen, you wanted to change because you wanted to be able to look in a mirror and see someone who was strong, someone who was bold, someone who was blessed, someone who was intuitive, someone who was protective, someone who's a provider, someone who's a lover, a nurturer, an understander. You wanted to see a divine being, a empress. You wanted to see that when you looked yourself in the mirror. So, yeah, you went within and you decided to separate. 
and you decided to take care of all the things within you. And, and these motherfuckers got the audacity to have their mouth on your growth. That's what I'm saying. And don't even understand that bitch. Worry about your shit. The, the more time you spend on worried about my growth. Okay. The more time you spend on worrying about my growth. You could have been done, 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 got rid of a couple of them, them demons up in you by now. Got me stuttering, making me mad. Let me calm down because I get stuttering when I get a little upset. So let me calm down. Yeah. Up taking action under the moon too. Some of them up taking action last night up under the moon. It's still a few little miss, um, few little, I, I see misguided there. I don't know why, but it's few, it's still a few, it's still, you know, time. They still can do some things. I think it's a few days before, during, and after and, uh, where the powers of the moon are supposed to be high. Yeah. They, they, they talking about your self-esteem and your choice is not to be misguided. You know, your choice is not to be hidden. Your choice is not to use the world as a numbing station. Instead, you went, went, went. Somebody's name could be Whitney. Instead, you went within and decided to commit to the things that the Most High has given you. And told you to do. You decided to let go of that lifestyle of lies and pride. Tricks and trades and deceptions. You decided to let that go. And they mad. They mad because they can't get within your energy. Because I seen protection here. Protection out here twice. You hear me? They mad because they can't go in your. They can't get within your energy. They mad you cut ties with them. So they ain't got nothing to do but to talk about anything. You hear me? But 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 deep within, but deep within trying to learn from you. Trying to learn from you deep within. That's how you know how misguided these hoes is. Oh my God. Lessons on the bottom of the deck. Deep within trying to learn from you. That's how you know how misguided these hoes is. They mad because you mysterious, because you separated. You hear me? From the matrix. You separated from all the bullshit that don't serve you. And these hoes want to come out karmic. You decide to let these karmic ass, this karmic shit go. You hear me? You decided to let it go. They mad you not karmic. Keep it in. Oh, it came out in reverse. I always, you know, I be going against it sometimes. Not on purpose, though. But, yeah. They mad you not karmic. They, they, they mad you a divine feminine. They mad your life is balanced. They mad. I'm telling you they mad. And they sitting back reminiscing about all the shit you used to do. Bitch, this, do you know what, it, do you know what year this is, bitch? I'm, I'm a Jetson now. Bitch, this the year, y'all know the Jetsons, the Jetsons was supposed to develop into them. I'm a Jetson. What the hell? I am a damn Jetson now. I have set the intentions not to be on no bullshit ass behavior, to go within and do my work. And who the hell are you to have anything to say about the work I've done? Who the hell are you to have anything to do with trying to block the work I've done and the rewards that come with the work I've done? Who the fuck are you? You're nobody. And God is going to deal with you. My ancestors are going to deal with you. My angels are going to deal with you. Yes, bitch. You're going to get it all around. You hear me? This is the old lady gang over here. Call it what you want to. The OLG gang over here. You hear me? You're going to catch it from all corners. And I do mean that. Because the damn show one time who set the bullshit up. You hear me? Yeah, trying to make it seem like you procrastinating. Not even procrastinating, like you just faking. 
Like you faking your spirituality or something. It's weird as hell how people just got to come up with anything to keep your motherfucking name in their mouth. Man, I wish somebody would tell them they really ain't got no real friends because a real friend would tell them to shut the fuck up. Girl, shut the fuck up. You worry about this motherfucker too much. That's exactly what I would say. Give me something on protection. That's exactly what I would say. You worried about this person too damn much. You feel me? Put their ass in their place. They ain't got no real friends. Sorry. Nightmares. Protection. Yeah. Trying to send shit your way. Trying to send, like I said, up under the moon last night. Trying to send fear and shit your way that the that so you can abandon your path. Yo, your path for self-love. So you can abandon your path for self-love. That's what they try and do. Send shit your way. What's your mom? Charges, charging. Yeah, it is. Okay. But it ain't happening. It went right back to their ass. Yo, you, 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 you vibe too goddamn high. And people don't understand that. You can't. You know, it didn't got to the point to where now they can't even do shit on you. The, the illuminate. The, the, mm -mm. They can't send no illusions your way. They can't send no deceptive illusions your way. They can no longer blindfold you. The spell has been broken. I promise you the spell has been broken. It, whatever happened under that full moon last night, it happened. You get what I'm saying? And it illuminated so much. I promise you, there is about to be apologies come your way. There's about to be a lot of people try to come your way and try to discourage your path just as well. But no, baby, you already, the intentions have already been set. The intentions have already been set. Can I? Mm. Can I have something on this action, please, Holy Spirit? Choices. One more. Yeah. They mad. They mad. They trying to. They trying. They mad. Look at this. Resistance. What I say? They ass is mad because you made the choice to go within and heal and not be on this bullshit ass behavior. So they up running their motherfucking mouth about your growth. Seeing you doing you, you giving unto dark deities to have the growth, to have the looks you do. I mean, it is so fucking crazy. All because they resisted their call. All because you resisted your call, bitch. They so fucking immature is what I see. So immature, low self-esteem. You hear me? They mad. They mad because you're loyal unto God. Your spiritual strength is up, baby. All because they resisted their calling and you have enlightened. You went within, baby. You are no longer blindfolded. You know what it is. And we know you shining. Bitch, keep, keep your mouth off of me is what you do. Keep your motherfucking mouth off of me. Like I said, your tooth should be hurting this morning. Somebody tooth hurting and they don't even know why that motherfucker hurt. Just because they decided to run their damn mouth last night. Hell, make me mad. Yeah, I'm mad at you. Put these up. Get a little tarot. Yep, yeah, you cut their ass off, so they mad. They mad. They can't depend on your energy no more either to shine. Bitch, you dull, and you being dull. You they mad. Justice, what I say. Told you these hoes mad. They stay mad. They always mad at something. Up at night. Up at night, worried about your motherfucking girl, worried about what you doing and why you doing it. You hear me? All because they ain't got it. They ain't doing it. Worried about who loving you, who in your life, who giving you this and how you got this and how you got that. Ain't none of your damn business, bitch. If you want it, bitch, go, go to God, bitch. Go to God, ho. You mad because I'm not a motherfucking karmic. You mad because I'm not a karmic. Girl, bye. Take your ass on. You mad. I'm divine. And, and, and for that man, too. Bye. Bye. Bye, dude. Bye, bruh. Shit. They mad because you not a motherfucking a karmic. 
You mad because I'm divine. You mad because I'm divine. Child, bye. Kiss my ass is what you can do. You mad because I'm wise. Yeah, you mad because people listen to me. Yeah, you mad. That's crazy. And you can tell when I get, um, when them spirits be talking loud, when I be getting them loud downloads, because I get super loud when I get them loud downloads, because I mean, somebody, people was really have been really up, especially last night for some reason. I'm just hearing somebody was really up, just running their mouth in such of a worse behavior towards you, trying to truly like they going to God highlight this shit crazy. Like they going to God high guys expose this person for the things they do. And you know, some type of crazy religious shit over here. Like, oh my God, it's craziness. And all you did was go within, baby, and God gave you the glow that you needed because the sun shines, sunshine on me, sunshine on me. I just look at sunshine on me. Sunshine on me. <laughs> You hear me? God gave you the confidence, the truth, the joy. He just gave you that vitality, baby. And whoever it is, just mad. They mad. Can I have one on this karmic in reverse, please? The Wheel of Fortune. What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? The Wheel of Fortune. What did I tell you? They mad you not a karmic. They mad you went within, baby, and changed your life. They mad you wasn't on this fuck shit no more. You hear me? They wanted you to still be in this same nightmare of living that they is, baby. Barely making it back. Even if you don't have a lot, you got more than they ass. How about that? How about that? Even if you don't have a lot. You hear me? You got more because your spiritual abundance, is it just overtakes everything. Your spiritual favor that's on you, it outweighs everything. And they mad that you changed the will of fortune in your life. You hear me? They mad that you made decisive movements that is going to put you on a path of fortune and luck. Lovers at the bottom of the deck. I'm trying to tell you, this could be your motherfucking family. This could be old friendships, old partnerships, old associations, just even old, even people you just say hi and bye to. Even motherfuckers you don't even know. You just know on social media and they feel like they know your motherfucking life. They mad and they was up for, I don't know what it is. They was up last night under the motherfucking moon, bitch. You hear me? Running that goddamn trap time I expose you because you doing something that look the way you I don't know what's going on with that, but child to to to, to get the, the knowledge you get and wisdom child if you don't go sit your ass down if you don't go sit your ass down somewhere and focus on your path, focus on your journey, focus on them dirty ass drawers you wearing. The made me mad up in here. Focus on cleaning the side of that damn refrigerator that you ain't clean. The, the, you know the piece, the side between. Clean the side of the damn refrigerator, the back of it too. Clean the side of the stove and the counter. It's so much you could be doing. I besides worrying about this divine feminine and the love and the desires that God has given her because he, because she decided to go within. She decided to reflect back to her what she wanted to see. And she wanted to see a divine being that was created from God. She wanted to see that divine being that her ancestors sent here to be just that. She wanted to see that. And you got the audacity to be speaking on her name. You got the audacity to be calling deities against her. Not knowing that they serve her. Not knowing that she is a God of a God. She is a God of a God. You can't call them on her. You can't call those deities on her. Call them on yourself. So since you want to call them on her, the Holy Spirit is going to reflect you back to you. Your tooth should be hurting today though, bitch. You, your tooth should be hurting because you did too much running your mouth on a divine being. The, the, the Holy Spirit is going to reflect you back to you to show you all your nastiness. Put you in a state of deep thinking. Make you want to cleanse yourself, cleanse your soul, 
So you can look just like her. The whole time you talking about it, you want to be like her though. You hear me? You got We got the Ace of Pentacles. But that's okay. You can keep talking because what you did was, all you did was catapult her new beginning, baby. Catapult her new prosperity and her abundance. Catapult her stability. That's all they did was run their mouth and catapult you into stability and, and, and put them in judgment. With this judgment card, that's what it did. It put them in front of the most high so they can begin to renew their own damn mind and stay up out of yours. Renew their own, renew their own, um abilities within within god renew, do do worry about you renew the renew your house is what i'm hearing renew relationships within that home renew your mind about about the way you even think about yourself about your body whoever I'm, you know it's, it's a lot of things that person could be doing instead of focusing on you, Divine Feminine. Excuse me, I just shook up the camera. Instead of focusing on you, it's a lot of things they could be doing. Because whoever it is, she, she thinks her body is what, what gets her. She she They want you to be somebody that is using your body. But actually, in actuality, it's this person that uses their body to even get the things that they want. That's something I don't even want to get into that bullshit. I sure don't. But just know that whoever was running their mouth under that full moon last night, they sure they tooth hurting. Your motherfucking tooth hurt, bitch. You should have been running your mouth. That's what you get. Make me mad. I'm running your mouth. You see, is this all Holy Spirit? Give me one on this judgment. Give me something on this judgment, please. Seven of Wands. I'm just here to let you know. Whoever was up under that full moon last night with this judgment and this Seven of Wands trying to call things on you because of your growth in the most high, because of your spiritual growth. I'm going to let you know your ancestors, your avenging angels, they on their ass this morning. Shit. They on their ass. I am not like somebody got a motherfucking toothache for fucking with you. I am not like somebody ran their mouth so much about you last night. They tooth is hurting. I mean, it's excruciating to the point to where they just want to ball up and throw up. It hurts so bad. They can't get rid of it either. That's that I am not lying. I just keep saying that because that's what I keep seeing. Somebody motherfucking tooth hurting. Crazy. <laughs> that's what they get. <laughs> oh my god, Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Do you hear me? I am not lying. You got some avenging angels. On your team, and one of them is the leader. That's why that emperor popped up. One of them is the leader, baby. He protects you at all costs. He protects you at all costs. He don't play by two. He don't play by, he say, I hear him say, I don't play by man. I don't play by man. You hear me? The devil is at the bottom of the deck. Hey, he finna put their ass on their ass. All oh, this shit, the, ooh, it's the devil. The justice. Yep. Whoever it is, they are about to um, experience a lot of limitations in their life. They have become so obsessed with you, so addicted with trying to oppress you. And you keep coming out on top. They have become so addicted, yo. We're trying to just create all type of illusions and distractions and depressions and excess, excessiveness. When I say excessiveness, it's like 
everything you can't keep no money maybe sometimes like it seems like everything takes it this is this person was up running their mouth this is this person and i'm not saying it's just this one person but in particular if whoever i'm speaking about right now in this reading i'm telling you this person was up trying to sacrifice you to some type of deity and there's about to be a tower in this person like the devil the justice in the tower it's about to be some type of tower to their security their stability This is their karma. This is their will of fortune. They're about to watch you have these new opportunities and security and stability while they're having destruction in their security and stability. They're about to watch you have love and partnerships and relationships while theirs is being ruined. Theirs is becoming limited. Like, the person they with ain't fucking with them like that no more. I, the Ten of Swords is out here. Oh, child, the emperor is back out here again. I'm trying to tell you, I'm going to tell you, the lover ain't fucking with him no more. The Ten of Swords is right here under judgment. It's right here under judgment. This is, this, this is the reflection of their vileness towards you with their words. And with their going in the spirit to pray against you. Yeah, they've reached a dead end and they have failed and there's about to be great ruin and destruction and disaster and trauma and sudden changes in their lives, in their, in their money, I'm hearing just as well, in their relationships, within their home, all of that because that's what they wanted for you. They wanted people to see you as the one who who was not divine they wanted people to see you as the one who was not called not chosen by god they wanted to see you as the one who didn't have confidence who didn't have self-compassion or compassion for others they wanted to they wanted that they want they wanted people to see that you are the fraud is what i'm hearing But no, it's about to fall on them and there's about to be some type of public shame I'm hearing. I'm hearing public shame. What is this I'm hearing, Holy Spirit? I'm hearing there's about to be some public shame, the Eight of Wands. And it's facing this way. Sudden change. There's about to be some public shame. Ten of Wands. And the bottom of the deck. There's about to be some type of public shame to this obligation. That this person, I don't know who this, this person is, but it's about to be some type of public shame. Some type of struggle. Some type of struggle. within. It could be within their home, within their job, shit, within their church is what I'm hearing. You know what that means. But just because they decided to open up their mouth this morning, they just didn't know. Or last night, they didn't know. That judgment was going to be called on them when they opened their eyes. And it has. Judgment has been called. This is the message.